I hope you all are doing very well. Here in this session, we are going to discuss about differences between sequential search method and binary search method. So basically, if we talk about sequential search, so sequential search is like if we are having n elements, then what we need to do, we need to select one element. Basically, we need to have our key with us that we need to find and we need to compare it with all the elements in this array. So basically, it is a kind of linear searching. That is one by one, I need to search all the n elements sequentially. For that, the implementation code is as follows. Basically, here header file, thereafter one portion sequential search, after that two parameters, the array and the value that we need to find out. Thereafter, if you are going to see, let me try to zoom it, you can see that in i equals to zero, and i less than size of array divided by size of single element. So it is going to give me the total number of elements that are under that array, and one by one, I am going to increment it. Thereafter, one by one, what we are doing, we are scanning all the elements. We are scanning all the elements one by one, all the elements one by one. That is sequentially, sequentially we are searching that if array of i equals to equals to value, that is first array of zero equals to equals to our key value or not. If it is so, then we can say that search is successful and we can return it. But if we have scanned complete elements, we have scanned all the complete uh, array and even though we cannot figure out the element, it means that that element is not in the existence. So if it is not in the existence, in that case, return by. Right? So this is a simple C code for sequential search. Now if you are going to figure out the steps, complexity, time complexity part, you can simply see value that is going to find out at the beginning if the key that is going to exist at the 0th index itself, then order of one time would be there. If value is going to find in middle two, we can say that order of two. If it is find out at the end of array, order of n minus one. And if it is not found overall, it is order of n. So time complexity of linear search, we are going to write at an order of n. So we can also compare best is that is order of n one. That is if our element is existed at the beginning and order of n, if our element does not exist, does not exist, or if it exists at last, if it existed last, that is order of n minus one, which is nothing but order of n, right? So this is the time complexity of sequential search. On the other hand, if I talk about binary search, then in binary search, we, what we are going to do, you can simply say that every time I am going to divide the array into half, every time I am going to divide the array into half, right? Divide array into half. And we are going to figure it out like that. So this is our low indexing. This is our high indexing. And this is our middle. At every point of time, I need to figure out the middle. That is nothing but low plus high divided by 2. So here if it is indexing 0 and here if it is indexing 9, what I need to do? 0 plus 9 divided by 2. Right? And we can take the floor value. So it would be like 4.5. So I will take 4. So 0 is low. 4 will be middle. So 5 to 9 would be the next array. And 0 to 4 would be the first array. So if my key existed at this point, I will say that it is found. But if it is not found, then obviously my key would be lesser than that middle element or greater than that middle element. So if my value is greater than middle element, it means that my element found in this part, right? If it is greater, but if my element is lesser than that, if my element is lesser than that, then it will found in this part, right? So if my value that I want to find is lesser than key, I need to go left. If my value that I need to find is greater than key, I need to go to right. And if our value equals to equals to key, it means that the middle element itself, we are going to write written one, right? 
so this is a simple binary a simple c programming code if mid is close to x is value return mid else if array ka mid is less than value means at that time i need to make this one as a at that time what i need to make is this value as a high and again i need to figure out the middle this time again if i will say that my element is greater than mid it means that my values existed here so i will make low equals to mid plus 1 so here it would be low right and such how we are going to perform the search in binary so if our let's say this is a array and in this is the middle so in the first first search if our key is equals to equals to mid element so order of one time is the best time complexity in the middle we can take order of two or order of any particular element but if our element is found at end of array it would take order of log n order of log n because every time we are skipping every time we are skipping half element so order of log n right and if it is value is not found again it is maximum going to take log n to find whether the value is there in the array or not so the best case time complexity of binary search is order of one whereas worst is log n right so order of one is first time search first time search and that too we got find into the first middle key first time we are going to find the middle and it is going to equal to our key that is best case order of one but if it is going to find at the end or at the last or if it is not existed order of log n that is worst case right i hope it is clear this is a simple time complexity comparative chart in best case both is going to take order of one but in worst case sequential search is too high that is order of n whereas binary search is order of log n which is reduced right so this is you need to perform while comparing uh, while comparing uh, sequential search versus binary search right so this is c code this is time complexity comparison this is binary search c code and this is a binary search time complexity comparison right i hope it is clear to everyone if anybody have doubt between comparison of binary search versus uh, sequential search please let me know have a very nice day guys stay tuned subscribe comment thank you so much have a nice day jai hind jai